Aloha guys! For your second draft of your wireframes and for your third draft of your wireframes, I am no longer going to be accepting hand-sketched wireframes after project number two. So at that point you're going to be creating wireframes digitally and I wanted to show you a simple way and everyone has access to Google Slides via Google Drive as part of your hawaii.edu account um, and you don't need any kind of fancy software like Photoshop or the Adobe Suite to create digital wireframes I wanted to show you that you can create them right here using Google Slides so let's go ahead and get started if you remember this is the third iteration of the redesigned home screen for the local IA app and I'm just going to show you a quick way to mock up um, a digital wireframe so that you can move forward with your second draft of your wireframe. So we're going to start off here with a shape and let's go for a rectangular here and let's just go ahead and recreate the home screen here. So I am just recreating this portion. And I want this background to be white. So I'm going to go ahead and click here and go to transparent. The next thing I want to do is I want to create a digital wireframe that I can use as a template that includes the tab bar here. So let's quickly mock that up. I'm going to create another rectangle here and that's my tab bar. And why don't we just fill that tab bar with a gray color here just to be able to distinguish between, you know, the background of the home screen and the tab bar. So just to give us a little bit of a distinction. And you guys are welcome to use that technique too if you want to. Let's kind of line that up as best that we can. So it's okay if it's not totally perfect. So we want to create our three tabs as indicated in the sketched wireframe on the left. And go one, sometimes it's hard to make these lines straight. Two, but just try your best. So I've got my three tabs. And we can move tabs over if we want to make a little bit of space. And then we can add a text box here. Um, and you'll notice that the text box is really big. So let's go ahead and shrink it down um, in here as indicated. So that's uh, my local local ita. We can shrink it down further, and maybe we'll use font size eight and see how that looks. All right, so we can nicely nestle that label there, and you want to put it in the general area um, where users will expect to see that label. So let's see if we stretch it out a little more. Okay, good. And you can center the text within that label. And then what we can do is we can just do a copy and paste. So copy and paste. This one is RTG. And then we can copy and paste again, and that becomes our information. Oops. Let's see, information. All right, so we can kind of line things up. You know, in general, it'd be really nice to, you know, we're going to be presenting these to our clients. Um, you know, into the future, we can aim to make this line straight. Um, it's not a perfect, let's see if we can pull that. See if I can make that a little bit straighter. 
still not totally perfect. We're creating a template, right, for our digital wireframe. So what I did here, guys, is I just went outside of my template here, my wireframe template, and I just am dragging this box across um, the template here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a group. And so now this operates as one single image. Okay. And you should probably, you know, copy and paste, right? So this is your template. Okay. So let's go back here. Now that we've created a template, we're going to go ahead and create this wireframe. So let's go here. So these X's here, guys, indicate that there's going to be a background image on the home screen. Very important um, to indicate where images are going to be. And typically speaking, you can either kind of draw a sketch to indicate an image or you're welcome to just do an X so that I know that there's an image there. And then we see that there's four buttons. So we're going to go ahead and go back into shapes. We're going to do four buttons, so one, and then you can copy and paste and create another one, copy, paste, create one more, copy and paste, and then create one more. And then you can kind of line things up um, to make it look, look nice. And this is nice because the X's are in back of the button, so they don't cross on top of the buttons. If there's elements that you want to bring backward and forward, you can simply highlight that element and then you can go into order and then you have some different options here. All right, so what we're going to do now is, you got it, we're going to make those labels. So tours. And let's just shrink that box down. We can bring everything back into view here. And let's go with eight again. So we'll go right here. It's really tiny. Um, and then we can center it. There we go. Okay. All right. So it's a copy and paste again. We didn't want to do that. We want to copy the text box. So copy and paste. And then you can go ahead and that's Mia Ola. Paste. And I have oops, just Mia Ola. And it looks like we dragged the whole thing over. So let's try that one more time. Okay. So Copy, paste. We've got Ike Hawaii. And one more time, we have science. science. And let's just put Ike Hawaii back in the label back onto the button there. All right. So we just digitized um, the home screen of the new home screen for the local EA app. All right, guys. Now I want to do something interesting here. I want to go back to um, our template here. So we want to preserve the template. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do a copy paste. And I'm going to put a text box up, up text box up here and I'm going to call it walking tour home screen because now I'm going to show you how to prototype your wireframes. So we're going to start prototyping, actually we're going to prototype your app um, so that you guys can see um, how we're going to be moving from wireframes to prototype to better understand the interactive design of your mobile application. All right. 
So what we're going to do here, before we go into Envision, we're actually going to prototype one interaction, or I should say two interactions. We're going to prototype the user coming to the home screen, pressing tours. It's going to push out to the walking tour home screen, and then the user is going to be able to press my local e -A tab and go back to the home screen. All right. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to take a screenshot. And on a Mac, if you don't know how to do that, that is Shift Command 4. And then you're going to take a screenshot of your home screen. And then you're going to take a screenshot of the walking tour home screen. All right. Okay, guys, we're going to move on to Envision. The address I want you to go to is right here. So I want you guys to go to projects.envisionapp.com slash d slash login. So make sure um, that you create your, your own account. We're going to be starting the prototyping process as we move forward past project number two. And that's going to require us to use the Envision app, which is a great tool to prototype your mobile app design. So if you haven't signed up yet, go ahead and sign up now. So take a few minutes to go ahead and do that. So we're going to step into my account. And you can see that I, I have a few projects, my Hawaii Dream project. Um, I have another project from another student that I worked with. What we're going to do now is we're going to create a new project and we're going to create a prototype. It's up to you if you want to create for the iPhone or the Android phone. So I'm going to go ahead and create for the iPhone um, and I'm going to call this CM400C Demo. Spring 2017. Great for the iPhone and let's get started. Okay, so my project should pop up. It's going to automatically ask us to drop in our screen. So I'm going to browse here and I want to drop in these two home screen, these two home screens, the app home screen and the walking to our home screen. Let's open that up. And there they are. There are my home screens. So we can view the screens if we want to on the actual device here. Um, it kind of puts it on an iPhone for me. So let's start here because this is our home screen. So just right here, guys, just note that you can toggle back and forth. And you can preview, so view and interact. You can create hot spots, and this is everything I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through that process. You can um, create or read comments if you would like. Um, you can go into a history mode, so past versions, and this is in beta mode. This is to manage assets from source files. So we probably won't go, go into this um, inspect mode. So let's go ahead and, so here we're in preview mode. We want to go ahead and create a few interactions here. So let's create a hotspot. And we are going to create a hotspot in, on the tours button. And it's going to say, all right, if the user in our prototype presses the tours button, we're going to select the destination. So the destination is going to be in this case, the walking to our home screen. So we're gonna go here. You can um, decide what kind of gesture it's going to be. It's a button, so generally speaking, it's a tap gesture. And I want the transition to be instant. We're gonna save that. And let's go into preview mode here. And let's press that. 
button. So if we press the tours button, it goes to the walking tour home screen. Now I have no way in my prototype of getting back to the home screen. So what am I going to do here? You got it. We are going to create a hotspot on the My Local EA tab. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And the destination is going to be back to the home screen. I'm going to save that. So let's go into preview mode. Let's start at the home screen. And let's see what happens. So we go here and we're at the home screen and we go back here and we should go back to the home screen. So let's see what's going on here. So we did create that hotspot. Oh, the destination is going to be the home screen. And let's save that. Now let's go back into preview mode. There we go, we're right back to the home screen. All right, so here I've just created um, a wireframe of two screens digitally. And then we went into the Envision app and we uploaded those screens and we created a project, uploaded those screens and we created hotspots to demonstrate the user interaction. All right. Okay, now some really cool things that you guys are going to be able to do with this is you can do a live share. So if you're presenting to a team, you can go ahead and um, collaborate with people in real time if you want to. But for, for the, the purposes of this class, we're really going to do share. And you can invite people to your project. And once you guys have your, your first prototype working, you guys are going to be doing some user testing using the Envision app. Um, so you're going to be inviting people. So make sure you know how to do that so you can share. And once again, you'll invite people by their email address. We're back now in my project board here. Okay, so eventually you're going to be adding in many more digitized wireframes here, and you're really going to begin to bring your mobile design to life using the Envision app. If you have any questions regarding this process, please email me. Um, as soon as possible, we can I can help you online, or um, I'm happy to meet you in person at UH West Oahu. But please email me if you need help. All right, guys, signing off. Aloha.